guys, Pete with Mixcat. Uh, today we're going to do a DIY project. Um, this is what I talked about in the previous video. This is called the Zier Pot. Um, basically, you have two just regular um, clay pots with the hole on the bottom. What we're going to need for this project is the two pots, one that fits inside the other, some sand and some tape to actually seal the hole. Um, what's kind of neat about this is it's supposed to be able to cool uh, produce or whatever you'd like to cool, like a refrigerator, without electric. This works by water evaporation, um, cooling, there's the tape on the bottom just to keep the uh, sand from falling through. But the uh, water evaporation is what actually drops the temperature inside the, the pot, making like a miniature refrigerator. And if this works out real well, this would be really nice uh, to have around just for a storm or what have you. Um, or if you're out and you don't have electric, um, that would definitely be kind of nice. I'm going to test this out. I have a digital thermometer. Now I'm going to put this inside the, the unit, actually the sensor inside the unit. We can see what the temperature is and what it goes down to. Okay, basically what you do is you're going to pour enough sand in the bottom so this guy actually becomes level, like you see there. And let me just move the camera so you guys have a better angle. I'm going to go ahead and take the sand and pour it in the bottom here. This is just standard sand. You get it at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, it's this patio leveling sand made by Sunscape. It's like three bucks worth of sand. It's kind of weird to buy sand in Florida. Just don't seem right. But as you see there, I kind of patted it down. I'm just going to put it in and judge. Now it needs more. And thanks to my friend Dan for showing me this. He showed me another person that actually put up a video doing this project. And supposedly it went down to uh, between 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty amazing. It was such a simple, simple design. All right, we're looking good. I'm going to go ahead and get a funnel. That way I can kind of run these guys along the side here. I gotta fill the sand all the way around. That's pretty much it. What we're gonna do is put a towel on the top and the temperature should drop when we put it in the water. Again, the only thing that this is using is water evaporation to, to cool it down. circles here to fill up the sides. I'm going to do it till it's all the way up to the top. And in my garage right now, probably, well, you guys can see for yourself, it's 86 in the garage right now. Um, what you see on the bottom there, 96, that's my attic temperature. I have a sensor up there. just to kind of give you guys an uh, idea of how large they are. If it, this works out real well, I'm going to get some big pots and I'm going to test it out on a larger scale. But this will be great for drinks.
now the next step is to fill it with some water. Basically, we're going to fill this till it doesn't want to take water anymore. That boat went away. <laughs> I packed the sand down pretty good. Next thing I'm going to need is a uh, towel that I'm going to wet and put over the top. That's our lid. And then we tape the hole in the bottom. I shouldn't get any water from the, uh, the bottom at all. And you can see it's getting pretty close to the saturation point. Looks like we're probably there. Yep. We don't want to go down anymore. Okay, so as soon as you get to this point where it don't look like it wants to take any more water, you're good to go. Just go ahead and get a little bit more, and I'll go inside and grab a towel. It's a wet towel that you kind of wring out, you put it on the top, and that's your lid. Two neat beers that I haven't had yet. One's a rye ale, and the other one is an amber ale, Laughing Skull and Hoss. These guys in there, that fits nicely. The outside temperature is 96 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the pot with the beers. And this is going to go on top. Hopefully it won't blow up my little temperature gauge. That's right. Fold it in half, and it goes right on the top here. I'm going to check this every so often, but that's it. Okay, a half hour has gone by. I hope you guys could make it out with this angle. Wow, it's actually, the top's pretty cool already. 79 degrees, and it's definitely cooling to the touch. 79 degrees. So it's getting there. Again, it's all right. Another half hour has passed. Top's oh, really, really, really cool. As you can see, it's 94 outside, 76 in the pot. So we're getting there. The pot feels really cool. I think it's because it's sitting on the beers that are warm. The pot's way cooler than the uh, beers. All right, we'll check back in another half hour. Just past another half hour, just ate some dinner. Wow, it's dipping now. 73 degrees. And honestly, the pot feels a lot cooler than those beers. I think it's the beers holding everything up. The pot itself, if I had to guess, it's definitely in the 50s. It's cold. Well, we'll see. degrees. It took a long time to get down to this temperature. Um, I actually went to sleep and woke up but pleasantly surprised you can see it's in the 50s now. But there you go the clay pot worked out good. Um, it's going up in temperature because I had this uh, lid off. But there you go.